The air crackled with anticipation. A nation watched, captivated by the unfolding events. At the 2024 Democratic National Convention, history unfolded before our very eyes. Vice President Kamala Harris, with grace and determination, accepted her party's nomination for president, marking a significant milestone. The weight of the moment was palpable as the audience held their breath, fully aware of the historical significance. She stood poised to become the first woman, the first black woman, and the first Asian American woman to lead the United States, a groundbreaking achievement. Her speech, a powerful indictment of the past and a hopeful vision for the future, resonated deeply with Americans from all walks of life, touching hearts and minds. The convention hall, adorned with American flags and bathed in patriotic hues, pulsed with energy and a sense of unity. Cheers erupted as Harris took the stage, a testament to her journey and the aspirations she embodied, filling the room with hope and excitement. Her presence, both commanding and compassionate, exuded a quiet strength that resonated throughout the arena, leaving a lasting impression. This was not just a political event, it was a cultural touchstone, a symbol of progress and the promise of a more inclusive America, a beacon of change. Harris, known for her sharp intellect and unwavering advocacy for justice, did not shy away from the challenges facing the nation, addressing them head on. She acknowledged the deep divisions, the economic anxieties, and the erosion of trust in institutions, speaking directly to the concerns of the people. Her words, carefully chosen and powerfully delivered, painted a picture of a nation yearning for leadership, for healing, and for a brighter tomorrow, a future filled with promise. The significance of the moment was not lost on anyone present as emotions ran high and the sense of history being made was undeniable. Harris, a daughter of immigrants, a product of the American dream, stood as a testament to the nation's enduring promise of opportunity and equality, embodying the hopes of many. Her nomination represented a shattering of glass ceilings and a beacon of hope for marginalized communities across the country, inspiring countless individuals. It was a moment that transcended politics, a moment that spoke to the very soul of America, a defining chapter in the nation's story. Central to Harris's message was a resounding call for unity. She implored Americans to reject the politics of division, the forces that sought to pit them against one another based on ideology, race, or religion. She spoke of a nation weary of the constant bickering, the partisan gridlock, and the erosion of civil discourse. Her words, imbued with a sense of urgency, resonated with those who longed for a return to common ground, for a government that worked for all its citizens. We are at our strongest, Harris declared, her voice filled with conviction. When we stand together, united by our shared values and our common purpose. She spoke of the need to move beyond the labels that divided, to recognize the humanity in one another and to embrace the principles of empathy and understanding. Her message, one of reconciliation and shared responsibility, struck a chord with Americans across the political spectrum. Harris acknowledged the very real challenges facing the nation, the economic disparities, the racial injustices, the climate crisis, but she refused to succumb to despair. She spoke of these challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for collective action, for innovation, and for progress. Her optimism, grounded in a deep faith in the American spirit, was infectious. She reminded the audience that the American story had always been one of progress, of overcoming adversity, and of striving towards a more perfect union. She spoke of the countless individuals throughout history who had fought tirelessly for justice, for equality, and for a better future for generations to come. Their sacrifices, their struggles, and their triumphs, she argued, served as a powerful reminder of the nation's potential for greatness. While Harris's message was one of unity, she did not shy away from delivering a pointed critique of the Trump administration. Her speech was a call for healing, but it was also a stark reminder of the challenges that lay ahead. She accused the former president of fueling divisions, of undermining democratic institutions, and of prioritizing personal gain over the well-being of the nation. Her words painted a picture of a country torn apart by partisan strife and a leader who thrived on chaos. Her words, though measured, were sharp and direct, leaving no doubt about her assessment of his presidency. She spoke with a clarity that cut through the noise, addressing the heart of the issues that had plagued the nation. She spoke of the damage inflicted on America's standing in the world, the erosion of trust in government, 
and the widening gap between the rich and the poor. Her critique extended beyond borders, highlighting how the actions of one administration had global repercussions. She accused Trump of exploiting fear and resentment for political gain, of emboldening extremists, and of normalizing bigotry and hate speech. Her words were a call to action, urging the nation to confront these issues head on. Her indictment, grounded in facts and delivered with unwavering conviction, resonated deeply with those who had witnessed the consequences of his presidency firsthand. The audience, many of whom had lived through the turmoil, found solace in her words. Harris reserved particular scorn for Trump's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, which had claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans. She highlighted the administration's failures, painting a grim picture of missed opportunities and preventable tragedies. She accused him of downplaying the severity of the virus, of spreading misinformation, and of failing to provide adequate leadership and resources to combat the crisis. Her words underscored the human cost of these failures, emphasizing the lives lost and the families shattered. His actions, she argued, had exacerbated the pandemic's devastating toll on the nation's health, economy, and social fabric. The economic fallout, the strain on healthcare systems, and the social isolation were all part of the legacy she laid at his feet. She also condemned Trump's attacks on the free press, his attempts to interfere with the peaceful transfer of power, and his relentless assaults on the rule of law. Her words were a defense of democratic principles, a reminder of the values that should guide the nation. These actions, she argued, represented a grave threat to American democracy and a betrayal of the oath of office he had sworn to uphold. Her speech was a call to remember the promises made to the American people and the responsibilities of leadership. Her words, delivered with a mix of anger and determination, served as a stark reminder of the fragility of democratic institutions and the importance of safeguarding them from those who would seek to undermine them. She called for vigilance, unity, and a renewed commitment to the principles that define the nation. Having laid out her critique, Harris pivoted to her vision for the future, a future built on a foundation of economic justice and opportunity for all Americans. She emphasized the importance of creating a system where everyone, regardless of their background or circumstances, could thrive and achieve their dreams. She spoke of the need to create an economy that worked for everyone, not just those at the top, an economy that rewarded hard work and innovation, and that provided a pathway to prosperity for all. Harris highlighted the importance of fair wages, job security, and the dignity of work ensuring that every American could benefit from the nation's economic growth. Her words, infused with a sense of empathy and understanding for the struggles of working families, resonated deeply with those who had felt left behind by the current economic system. She acknowledged the sacrifices made by countless individuals and families and promised to fight for policies that would uplift and support them. She outlined her plans to invest in education, healthcare, and infrastructure, arguing that these investments would create jobs, grow the economy, and strengthen the middle class. Harris stressed the importance of accessible and quality education for all, affordable health care, and robust infrastructure to support a thriving economy. She spoke of the need to address income inequality, to make health care more affordable and accessible, and to ensure that all Americans had the opportunity to succeed, regardless of their zip code or background. Harris emphasized that no one should be left behind in the pursuit of the American dream. Her message, one of shared prosperity and economic empowerment, stood in stark contrast to the trickle-down economics that had defined the previous administration. She argued for a more inclusive approach that would benefit the many, not just the few, and called for policies that would ensure economic stability and growth for all. Harris spoke passionately about the need to address the climate crisis arguing that it was not only an environmental issue but also an economic one, a social justice issue, and a moral imperative. She highlighted the interconnectedness of environmental sustainability and economic resilience and the urgent need for action. She outlined her plans to transition to a clean energy economy, to create green jobs, and to protect the planet for future generations. Harris emphasized the potential for innovation and economic growth within the green sector and the importance of leaving a healthy planet for our children and grandchildren. Her vision, one of sustainability, innovation, and environmental stewardship, 
resonated with young people and those concerned about the future of the planet. She called for a collective effort to embrace renewable energy and sustainable practices, ensuring a brighter future for all. She also spoke of the need to address systemic racism and inequality to reform the criminal justice system and to ensure equal opportunity for all Americans, regardless of race, gender, religion, or sexual orientation. Harris highlighted the importance of justice and equality as fundamental pillars of a fair society. Her words, grounded in a deep commitment to social justice, resonated with those who had long been marginalized and who sought a more equitable and just society. She promised to continue fighting for the rights and dignity of all individuals, ensuring that every voice is heard and valued.